Maldor 8. Apparently Dr. Evil's minions know that our agency was making copies of their source code because they intentionally sabotaged this source code in order to make it harder for our agency and Eliza crack into. The result is quite a mess, but I trust that my special agent will, my best special agent will find a way to solve it. All right, well, let's hope I'm the best special agent, eh? All right, so let's download this and we'll open it with a WordPad, I guess. All right, this is a bit of a mess. Let's see if we can clean it up a bit. All right, so enter the vault password. We're going to get the substring. And then they're going to check the password. And that grant access if it matches. All right, then we have the scramble method. Scramble a password by transposing pairs of bits. So we loop through the length of the password, presumably. We switch bits one and two. We switch bits zero and three. Uh, we don't do those for whatever reason. We switch bits five and six, and four and seven. And we have a, uh, zero and one, we have a couple more common and outs. Switch bits three and four, two and five, six and seven. And we slap it back in the array, and we return it. Well, that's not so bad. All right, switch bits. Uh, move the bit in position one, position P2. Move the bit back. Precondition P1 is less than P2. Now we don't print them out anymore. All right, well, that's, well, it looks like it does about what it says. And then we're going to check the password. When we check the password, we scramble whatever the user types in. We have this expected array, and we want to see if it matches. All right. Um, hmm. This looks a little annoying to do by hand. I'm going to need a Java compiler. So I'm going to come over here to one of my other Linux machines where I have a Java compiler. We'll call this vault door 8.java. We'll paste that in there. Um, let's make sure it compiles. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so let's um, let's see if I can get this to do my work for me. So that scrambling, if I just do it in reverse order, that should undo it. So we'll move this to the bottom, then this just above that. So I'm going to reverse the order. All right, let's hope that reversed the order. OK. And we'll come down here. And instead of scrambling the password, we're going to scramble expected. So we need expected to be a string, new string expected. And then we'll print out um, scrambled after we patch it up. Now let's see if that does anything good. for password shouldn't matter what I type in all right and here it is it is in fact undone it for us some more bit shifting so we'll come over here pico ctf some more bit shifting and good news we have a flash